In 2013, I was in the, in the clubhouse with my teammates, and I, I keep telling them, I'm gonna have one day I'm gonna have a horse in the Kentucky Derby. Victor Martinez has always been a horse fan, has gone to the races since he was a child in Venezuela. His talents in baseball got him to America. I've always been a dreamer since I came to this country in 1997. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of people in front of me, a lot of players in front of me, and I had to work really hard to get to, to the place I got. And uh, there is nothing possible, you just, you gotta work for it. Martinez didn't just work, he became a five-time Major League Baseball All-Star with the Indians, Red Sox, and Tigers. After retiring, bought three horses, named the first one King Guillermo to honor his dad, who died when Victor was little. Victor was convinced to switch the name to the third horse. Last March, that King Guillermo won the Tampa Bay Derby at 49 to 1 odds, putting him and Martinez in the Kentucky Derby. Do you believe this? King Guillermo at 49 to 1. He doesn't just win it, he wins it off impressively. You know, here I am and just living the dream. We hope it. You know, that's, we only can hope and dream. So I always say, you know, dreams are free, man. So we just here and we keep dreaming. Victor Martinez finished his career with an almost 300 batting average, got over 2,000 hits, got over 200 home runs, but he never won a World Series. You can make the case in horse racing, the Kentucky Derby is the World Series of this sport. And now Martinez has a chance to win it as a rookie. From Churchill Downs, I am Fred Calgill, WLKY Sports. Be a great story. King Guillermo starts the Kentucky Derby from post position six at a morning line odd of 20 to one.